What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my three week lock update with my braid locks. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I am three weeks along my braid lock journey and I am just, you know, I'm just learning a lot about braid locks all together because you know i i had started my son's um braid lock journey um you know i think i should yeah i think that was like last year i share that with you guys i'll definitely link it right here for you to check out now in that video not in that video but there wasn't really much of an update after you know recording that video because my son had taken out his braid locks after a week now i have never started any of my lock journeys with um, braid locks it was instant locks which i have a video on my channel to share with you how you can start your own instant lock journey and also i started with two strand twists which i also started Jaden's lock journey with the two strand twists and also there are videos on my channel which shows you how you can start your braid lock, sorry not braid locks, your lock journey with um, the two strand twist method. So doing the braid locks on myself and actually going beyond, you know, obviously when, when I shared the first braid lock journey, braid lock tutorial, it was with my son, but you know, with it being for myself, I have never done it. And now seeing how your braids can progress past you know the first week second week third week etc you know i am learning so much more about the braid lock journey and you know as i've shared in week one and week two the different things that i was going through you know the unraveling which was a massive surprise to me because i didn't think that was going to happen um you know check those videos out i'm not going to reiterate what I, I spoke about in those videos but as for week three um what i can say i am noticing is build up you know <laughs> and you know i speak about build up all the time and i also want to remind you guys that build up is it's normal it happens even to people who aren't on a lock journey so now being on a lock journey and then you know you have environmental factors like lint debris whatever getting you know caught in your hair and then you know scurry its way down into your braids or your two strand twist it can cause build up and if you're not grooming your locks on a regular basis your braids or your <laughs> your braids your star locks will not you know progress as you would have want them to so i am noticing there are some build up and you know i'm just kind of like oh my god like build up i just i just can't deal with this so um it's not a lot thank god but it's still annoying and it's always like mostly at the uh what do you call it the root area and yeah i got my head covered today because my hair is not looking great <laughs> So I wanted to keep it covered, but you know, you know what I look like. And obviously there's some clips in here that's showing you what my hair looks like, but yeah. <laughs> but in saying that, um, you know, I am still trying to stay on top of maintaining, um, you know, in terms of grooming, sorry, my braid locks to get rid of the, the lint and stuff like that. And like I said, it's usually just at the, the root of my hair. It's not necessarily in the length of my braids. It's more so in the roots. And, you know, when it comes to the back of your head, it can be very difficult, especially if you don't even have a, a mirror. But even when you have a mirror, that can also be a little bit like uh, too much. Um, but yeah, so build up is one one thing that I'm struggling with. <laughs> also, another thing that I have noticed about my braid lock journey, which is quite interesting, because when I started my two strand twist um, lock journey, I shared with you guys that I had a particular lock that always wanted to go that way, right? And with my braid locks, I am experiencing the same thing. So I am learning a little bit more about my hair. So I know that in this part of my head, my hair i don't know the curl pattern it, it kind of different it, it, it kind of curves you know because <laughs> when i had my my two strand twist it it curved and also my braid lock it also curves so it's like ah but it's um it's interesting it's so quirky it's something you know unique to me and my lock journey <laughs> yeah so since 
the last update there hasn't really been a lot of changes but you know I wanted to document this journey so that I can also look back and see and also to help those who are on a lock journey or braid lock journey should I say to understand what they can expect but because I'm doing this weekly it can seem like oh well what can I update you guys on but that's what I have to say for this week but yeah so that's what I have been enjoying and noticing about my braid lock journey and I hope you guys found today's video very helpful and informative and if you did please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed and until next week Sunday at 5 p.m. we will be right back here with another video